Hey everybody, John Gregory here from Theme Park Tribune giving you a look at a uh, interesting stay I had at this resort called the Star Island Resort down on 192 in Kissimmee. A few minutes away from Disney, a little bit further from Universal. It's one of many, many off-site resort options and I wanted to see what I could get for booking last minute um, just kind of based on my own needs of the day, and uh, it didn't go very well. So, to start off with, this is a condo-style kind of living quarter situation with a separate bedroom and bathroom, and then a living area and kitchenette. It's one of many places that seems to be, um, like, kind of catering to that off-site uh, need for a bigger living space, predating when Disney had so many vacation club units, and it's still available very affordably, but as you can probably tell, it hasn't been updated very much since, you know, 80s and 90s. So starting off with the problems I had here is uh, this couch, which you can see is uh, stained. It's, it's pretty dirty. Um, <laughs> you know, it's gonna happen, I understand that, but just get a new couch, because that looks kind of gross. And there was just a general, like, it's humid in here. It's kind of dirty feeling without everything seeming visibly dirty. It just, and it's probably from the, also how out of date everything feels. Um, so you've got this couch, stains included. Some art on the walls, general beachy theme, nothing special there. Uh, a little kitchen table here. You do get a mini fridge, a dishwasher uh, that is as large as the fridge. Um, I guess you need that because there is this little kitchenette area, including a two burner stove, a microwave, little tiny sink. Um, and it comes with some, some kitchen utensils and you know, plates and things like that. TV up in here in a little bit of an awkward position. This is just a closet with some extra bedding, essentials. Glad they have the fire extinguisher. And uh, yeah, nothing, <laughs> nothing special about this. This does pull out into a couch as you'd expect to give you some extra space. Uh, this is kind of the foyer room. This connects to the unit next door if you want to combine. Uh, this is one also weird thing. Um, I guess they lock the temperature so I couldn't make it any cooler even though it's just kind of like humid feeling in this place. Um, not the greatest ventilation system I'm guessing. So yeah, another downside. Going into the very dated bathroom this seashell kind of grandma-y sink here. Uh, a jetted tub that I wouldn't recommend using that as a tub. Um, I took a shower in it. Water pressure was okay, but one of the things is is that unlike a lot of Disney resorts, um, this, is, this is definitely well water. And that, if you're not used to that, that like smell when you're showering can get really unpleasant. Um, and if you're thinking, hey John, you're kind of dark in here, that's because that light doesn't work. Um, there's the only light is that above the shower. And yeah, just a little dark in here. Just outdated all around. It does have the controls for the jacuzzi tub right over there. A little storage over in this nook and another mirror. Um, but not even laid out to like in any way get you know, multiple people ready in the morning. Then heading into the bedroom, you get two um, double beds. So not queens as far as I, as far as I can tell. Usually my measure of that is if my feet can hang off the edge, it's a double. Um, but I guess I could be wrong. I didn't bring my tape measure. Um, they were they were okay. Nothing special. Uh, nothing particularly good. Pillows were were pretty bad, as you would expect. I mean, a lot of hotel pillows are just bad. 
Um, really inconvenient thing here, if you're used to some you know, more Disney touches, uh, I had to pull this out in order to get to a outlet. Let's see if you can see it down there. There you are, little buddy. Uh, yeah, no USBs, and really, like, that might seem like a, a nitpicky thing, but, um, at the very least, like, having a plug over here that's readily accessible is the way people should, way hotels should go at this point. Everyone's got to charge a, a phone. And the cheapest way to do it is just get a, get a clock radio with them. I mean, I've seen cheaper resorts than this do that, and uh, they've chosen not to. There are plugs on this side of the bed, and then over here on this side, but those are a little awkward. Um, I also should point out these blinds will not block all light, and my particular room was pretty close to the bar with uh, live karaoke until, in my opinion, too late at night. Um, some storage here, dresser, the TV again, TVs are nothing special. Um, also there was just one remote for both TVs. So I don't think a family would like that if they're trying to watch something separate. Uh, another closet area in here, which you would expect to you know these are built for some longer term stays with bigger people. They might, they just need more storage. And then there's, uh, there's your safe. So, um, here's the thing. Uh, don't stay at these places. <laughs> if it's not a name brand sort of place, like, you'd be much better off staying at, like, a residence inn for Marriott than something like this. It's out of date. It's a little dingy. It's nothing, like, unsafe or really unclean. But, like, I'm not getting bed bugs. Um, that's what's prey on that one uh, but, but I, I checked the beds they're not there I looked for the telltale signs after I saw some of the other problems with this place but um, these places you might think you're saving a bunch of money for the for that stay but I mean you are I got this for a hundred bucks a night on no notice on hotels.com but it's just kind of eh. Like you don't want to, you don't want to stick around here. You don't, you don't get any sort of good vibe. And I'm not even telling you stay at a Disney resort, stay at a Universal resort. Not at all. I'm not, I'm not that guy because uh, I'm not a travel agent. Uh, but you can stay at better offsite options than this. Places where you have more faith in what what the place is going to be like and what sort of service level you can expect. And you're not going to get, you know, dingy couches with stains and bathrooms that look 30 years old and have, like, you know, no water softener and well water just sort of smell making you making you kind of sick in the morning. So, um, Star Island Resort, uh, thumbs down. Big thumbs down. Don't stay here.